Hello, everybody. I know, it has been a little while. I have a confession. I have been a little bit obsessed with Animal Crossings. I guess it's not that new, but new DLC, Happy Home Paradise, because it's all design. It's designing outside, it's designing inside of homes. It's just vacation homes all the time. And I live in Canada and we can't go on vacation and there's a lot of snow. So I have been really enjoying designing vacation homes in all of these beautiful tropical places for all of these lovely, weird animal folks. <laughs> so without further ado, come along with me. I haven't fully completed the DLC, but I've gotten pretty far in it. And I figured I might as well share uh, some of my process with you. I know some people are brand new to Animal Crossing. It's a really weird game. You will notice I am currently blue. Uh, that's because back on Halloween, some kid painted my face and I just kind of left it like that. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of the main game, although I do play it pretty often. I find it very soothing. It's kind of like my therapy right now. And <laughs> This part of the game is just my jam. So come along with me. I figured what better way to spend a Tuesday night than, you know, designing a nice vacation home for someone. All right, so this guy wants a schoolhouse. All right, this guy, I want a home that'll set my soul on fire. All right, I don't, I don't even know what to make of that. I don't even I don't even know what that means. What does that mean? Wow, you're weird. What do you want? He wants to enjoy a proper cup of tea in an English garden. Ooh, that's tempting. I need a new lab to conduct my secret research. Oh, these are cool ones today. I want a place where I can be oh, be the best at ball sports. Uh, well, I want to grill and chill every single day. Yeah, man, don't we all? Don't we all? Okay, so we actually have quite a few fun options today. Quite a few. Um, ah, secret lab. Kind of torn between a secret lab, the English garden where we can have a nice cup of tea. Yeah, no, I've, I've done one schoolhouse already. It's fun, but. I want a home that'll set my soul on fire. I have no idea what that means, and I'm so curious, so let's do it. Oh, you're one of those weird, deep-speaking ones. All right. All right, I'm just going to whip through this dialogue, because I don't care at all. Let's just get to the designing. Let's get to it. These, these people are weird. Animals, people, I don't even know what they are. They're probably just figments of my imagination. Um... Uh, okay, whatever. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. What is, okay, what does this mean? Stirs the soul. Okay, he wants a wood-burning stove, a pile of logs, and a, a soup cauldron? I, this is, this is gonna be weird. This is gonna be a weird one. Buckle up. Get cozy. Grab a snack. Get, get a blanket. This is gonna be a, a weird one. I'll try not to make it too long. I'll make it only a one story. Cause honestly, and I'm running out of places to put people and he wants a wood burning stove. So I'm inclined to put him somewhere wintry. I got lots of winter spots available still. <laughs> I'll just stick them out in the middle of nowhere. Um, I mean, does that stir your soul? How about being on an iceberg? Uh, you know what? That's, look at that. That's soul stirring. <laughs> Let's go with that. All right. I'm glad you're looking forward to uh, your winter getaway. I'm trying to get away from winter, but here we are. Yeah, you don't need, you don't need two floors. You're fluxumed. I like that word. I don't, don't hear that one very often. All right, uh, I will decide on a one level home for you because I don't want to be here for three hours. That can happen. All right, T-Bone. Let's go and stir that soul. Hey, we're both blue. How fun. All right, we're taking the boat. Here we go. Look how beautiful. 
Yeah, this is it. Glad you like it. You didn't really have a choice. <laughs> okay. All right, so let's get to deciding. And I, I'm going to apologize in advance because I get a little spazzy on the controls. You know, I've had a few cups of coffee today. And sometimes I will just exit out of menus unintentionally. So you have been warned. Um, okay, so I'm going to start the design of the actual house. I want something that looks like log cabin -y. So which one will accommodate that? It's only a one story, so we don't want to go too big either. There we go. There we go. That's very log cabin -y. What color roof? Uh, ooh, a brown thatched roof. Light brown. Or thatchy. Yeah, let's go. No, orange. Orange is good. Oh, my friend's on. Hello, friend. Okay. Um. What else do we need to do here? I'm happy with the siding. I'm happy with the roof. I'm happy with the si- Oh, yeah, the door. Ooh, what looks nice and log cabiny. Let's see here. Um. Yeah. Red. No, that's too much. Yep, there we go. I'm happy. Do we want to read? Will that stir his soul? Not stirring my soul, so. No, okay. All right, and you know what? Let's do some landscaping and some pathing. I'll start with the big stuff, like the trees. Ooh, I can now use furniture from Nook Shopping, which means we just have endlessly more options, which is fantastic. All right, so we'll go through the order later. All the stuff that he wants. And we'll throw some trees in. All right, so it's winter. Got some Throwing some pine trees. We already got one of those other trees. Let's get another, another palm tree. Cedar tree. There we go. Uh, do you want any cute winter bushes? Let's go with the dark green one. There we go. Let's throw, you know, a couple more in there. And, I don't know, he wants to light a fire in his soul. What flower will do that? <laughs> um... It looks like a nice flower that would survive in winter. Yeah, there we go. Cute. Cute, okay. <laughs> Let's move some trees around. I won't spend, I, I can spend a lot of time doing this stuff, but I'm gonna try and do an efficient build today. Let's not be here all night long, just long enough. All right. Couple of these bushes around, Let's flowers. Isn't this nice, you guys? Sound of the soothing waterfall in the background. And, yeah. You can live there. Why not? How cute. This is lovely. Alright. I'm happy with that for now. Let's go to... I don't need any more fences here. Let's not interrupt the beautiful beauty of it all. Let's just do some... Some pathing. Now, what's gonna... What would be out here? It's a dirt path. Kind of in the middle of nature, so let's just let's just dirt path it up. Oh, wonderful sound effects. I usually play this game with no volume, so always a fun surprise. And I remember that there's weird sound effects everywhere I go. <laughs> Alright. I mean it's not the most original path thing, but we're going to add some stuff. We're going to put some stuff in. Here we go. We're going to go to back to his order. And what does he want? Some of these things look like outside things. So, okay. He wants a brick oven. Let's get that in there. That's a clay furnace. Sure, why not? These look like outside things. A stage flame machine. The, oh, this is like for performances. I guess this is... All right. A gong. This this guy is just a, very strange. He has a very interesting list of things. Ooh, an outdoor bath. I can throw that out here. Let's see what 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 color do we want? Gray, black. Uh, it's winter, so let's go with winter white. Love it. Beautiful. Uh, yeah. Let's put it right by the waterfall. Yeah, there you go. And then you can bathe with a view. Love it. We'll save cooking for this side of the house. Uh, let's just move this bush over here. Ooh, yeah, pizza oven. Mmm, I can smell it. Want some pizza. Uh, tree. 
think you could probably just get, you know, unexisted. <laughs> Willed out of existence. There we go. Yeah, I'm happy with that. What else shall we put out here? Oh, he wants some a leaf campfire. All right, let's throw a couple of those guys out there. A jackhammer? Like, what is your deal? This is the strangest design order. He just wants a lot of fires. He wants a lot of fires and some noise. That's the impression I'm getting. Let's put some tiki torches. I enjoy those. He wants one of these. He just wants fire everywhere. <laughs> uh, sure, why not? Let's do that. We got some flaming leaf piles. It's just so bizarre. Just a really strange build. But we're gonna go with it. Because you never judge your client's design orders. You just go with them and you make them look really good. Okay. We've got a bonfire. We've got all kinds of ovens. We've got tiki torches, which I will light afterwards. It will not let me do it currently. Uh, he wants gasoline. I think we should probably also put a fire extinguisher. Um, a metal can of fuel. Oh good, he also wants firefighting gear. <laughs> rightfully so, rightfully so. You're gonna need it. Clearly, this is just a disaster waiting to happen. Um, let's also put a fire hydrant. So when the fire people come, they can put out this disaster of a fire. I better not spend too much time designing it because it's just going to go up in flames. Let's put this like really centrally. Let's put this here like next to the stove area. Let's move this stuff away from all the flammable items. Yeah. There we go. I want some weird stuff. There we go. Maybe if it's right here, it can save the house. Maybe. Um, all right, fire safety. What else? A gong that we can ring when everything catches fire. There we go. Um, okay, what else do you want? You are so strange. An outdoor table, a safe. Dude, you just, you don't have any idea what you want. I think the people at the game are really stretching for things at the time. Okay, we'll put the bell inside so we can alert more people of fires. Uh, don't really have room for a hearth. I think, you know what, I think that, that, that's good. That's good, I'm, I'm satisfied with that. <laughs> let's get to the inside, let's walk through. Can okay, we walk through the fame? No, we can't walk through that. All right, let's light this. Let's light this torch. Let's. Make sure the fire hydrant's working. Can I? Nope, can't do anything with that. Gong. How you doing, Gong? All right, it's working. Fire extinguisher. Prepped and ready. Pizza. Ooh, pizza's done. Okay. All right, let's go inside. Put more fireplaces. <laughs> All right, so weird. Okay, setting his soul and his house on fire. Let's get let's get decorating. All right, so it's only a one floor, so I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. There we go. Just a cute little eight by eight cottage. Um, yeah, we'll keep the windows. He's gonna need the escape routes. Uh, keep the light nice and bright, cause again, he's gonna need the escape routes. Um, is there anything that sounds like fire? Uh, wind, jungle, forest, rain. <laughs> I'm probably he's gonna wish for rain. Uh, creaking. No, I don't think we need sound effects. What even is this? Like what? It looks like it should be outside. I'm gonna I'm gonna put that back outside. <laughs> um, but in the meantime, let's see. What kind of flooring and wall coverings this guy wants? He wants some magma. I mean, I'm not surprised. 
He literally wants his house to be on fire. Um. Yeah. Just go into Mordor. Like, why not? How about we, like... There we go. Huh? It's like... The tunnel. Or the cave. You have to get through. To get to more lava. <laughs> um. Sure. I mean, he wants to be on fire. This is the fastest way I can think. It's just to literally live in a volcano. So, okay. We're in a volcano, which means this cauldron actually kind of works here now. Um, wood burning stove seems a little redundant, but it's also a must. It's a must in this design. So I might move those outside. I have to remember to put them back in though, or it's not going to be happy with me. So, okay, let's just really go with this like fire in the flames motif. Let's just live it up. Um, what else would be in a volcano? Like if we lived in a volcano, <laughs> what would we want to have? <laughs> uh, okay, let's put some. Uh, candle sconces on the walls, you know, these, the, the, the cavern walls, because you can never have enough fire. Uh, black. Black like our souls. Okay, and I love this game because you can literally just replicate stuff. It is just the most satisfying thing. <laughs> when you've been playing the game for over a year, not being able to unlock stuff and having to, like, pay a bunch of, not real money, but game money. And it's just endlessly difficult and time consuming to do this. And then all of a sudden this DLC comes out and just gives me the instant gratification that I so desperately needed. Um, okay, can I put anything on the ceiling that looks like fire? Can we just keep going with the fire? Ooh, yeah, I know how. Does this glowing moss happen to come in red? Because that would just, yes it does. Mm, how about orange? You know what, let's do a mix of yellow and red. Because, you know, that's what, that's what gets us orange. <laughs> Alright. And then I can just replicate them. Ah, oh, so satisfying. We can just make everything super awesome. It's just like raining lava everywhere. Just dripping. Actually, yeah, let's spread these out. Let's make this look like a weird lava cave. I know it looks weird from up here, but just just trust me on this. It's, it's gonna look good. It's gonna look good. Or it's gonna look terrible and we're gonna delete it all. You know, one way or the other. Hmm. Hmm. I think I went a little too hard. I think I overdid it a little. Let's get rid of some. Or you know what? Let's just move them. I'm closer to the lava wall. They belong. The lava wall. It's lovely, cheerful music in the background. So nice. All right, let's. Okay, how does that look now? I mean, still a little. It's still. It's a bit much still. Let's just get rid of you. And move you back a little. There we go. No, it's terrible, isn't it? It's terrible, it's awful. <laughs> Let's just... <laughs> it's okay. This is, this is all part of the process. We try things, we move things around, and usually decide that they look terrible and they must be destroyed. Alright, so what else can I potentially put in here? There is just... I mean, it's all stuff for inside a nice house. How about this? Ooh, yeah. There we go. That looks very... You know. Medieval entrance to hell. <laughs> it's just a nice candle chandelier, but we just need more fire. We need more fire. Um... Okay, I think that's all. We don't really need rugs in here. They'll just catch on fire. Um... Hmm... Honestly, I'm kind of at a loss. This design build didn't give me a whole lot of options other than just fire, fire, and more fire. I guess I can add a... 
a fireplace or two. Let's put... No, oh, that's such a nice place for the cauldron. Just so nicely on that nice little raisin. Okay, let's throw a fireplace over there. That'll make him happy. Throw a nice... Where is my... There you are. Nice fireplace. And... What else might he want in here? A Taurus bathtub. Um... I don't really get the point of that, but he kind of looks like he belongs in hell, so why not? Okay, there we go. Nice little fireplace. Taurus bathtub from hell. You gotta fight him now. Take a bath. You know, either or. Um, again, this is like the strangest build I have ever done. Uh, but you know what? We just gotta, we just gotta make the client happy. So, I'm gonna, he wants lots of firewood, let's just give him some firewood. Um, the fire extinguisher, honestly, not gonna do a lot. Um, he's chosen to live in a volcano, so, you know, power to him. We should probably hang some of these, put this fire on top of this fireplace, there we go, now we can keep it going. I'm just gonna hang some of this fire retardant clothing on the walls you know in case he he wants it he's probably gonna need it so we'll just throw that throw that on there and sporty sandals that doesn't seem like a smart choice where are your flame retardant boots you don't have any all right well you know i guess sporty sandals are better than bare feet so there you go there you go and you know, I guess you can wear this underneath your firefighting and Nah, you're just gonna go commando. It's fine. Um Hey! Honestly, I think <gasps> Um, once I put these in, you know, kind of kind of nicer position. Um let's wear that know on your days off when you're not fighting fires but you probably should keep fighting fires because they're everywhere all right well there you go dude you got you know you can just be play the floor is lava all day every day <laughs> i'm probably not gonna put like you don't you, you you didn't even ask for a bed or a chair oh yeah you wanna this is a good place to have a safe though honestly i don't know who would come in here black because it's clearly charred <laughs> it's very charred this bathtub is throwing me but i don't know what else to put in here he requested the strangest things and that was one of them and i don't like a jackhammer I guess so you could drill straight to hell sure let's put that over here it's doing a good job <laughs> Uh, I mean, I guess your kettle will boil real fast here. Can I put that on top of this cauldron? No, that's not a thing. No. Alright, well, you know what? I'll just, uh, I'll make some room up here because I don't know where else to put stuff. There we go. We have a nice spot of tea while we wait for our soup to cook. And, uh, ooh, actually, you know what? Let's let's have him guarding this safe, you know? Let's put this in a harder-to-reach place, and you gotta get through the bathtub to get to him. There we go. He's gonna just fighting the safe. He's just fighting it. Um, I mean, I guess a, a fire pit would be a bit redundant in here. But more beef campfires, because if there were any leaves in here, they would 100% be on fire. Just like we will be, if we don't have our flame returning clothing on. All right, I'm gonna have to go outside and put that wood burning stove. Otherwise our mission will not be completed. Uh, a public bench and an outdoor table. Also a strange combination of things, but yeah, all right. Okay. Your portal to hell is almost ready. I hope your soul will be on fire. <laughs> That's what you wanted. Um, 
Okay, you know what? Let's just move those nice flowers. Let's move them... Um, I don't know. Over here. There we go. And let's add... Add that, because he really likes it. Really wants it. Um, and we'll just throw a few, you know, flame machines out here. Because there's not enough fire out here. Very deceiving, being winter. Maybe I should change the season. You know what? I'm going to change the season. Let's make this much more... Um, not so green. Let's make it fall. That seems when things would be a lot more flammable, which will make him happy. <laughs> the snow. Not super portal to hell. There we go. Oh, you know what that means, though? I'm also going to change what this bath looks like. Because it doesn't need to be white anymore. It could be gray. Yeah, let's make it brown. There we go. Okay, so these things I'll have to activate, but... Uh, honestly, why? Why? I don't want them. There we go. You just have every means of fire. Oh, I should put more wood piles out here, though, because he's gonna need them. He's got a lot of fires going on. Let's throw a couple of those out there. Okay. Sauna heater. Okay, you know what? Let's put that next to our bath. Because, you know, it can be chilly out here. Right next to the portal to hell. Uh, we'll move... Move this over here. It looks so flammable and dangerous. Actually, you know what? I don't even know what it is. It's just a mysterious can of something. And I don't even know what. So let's just get rid of that. And we'll just put all of our wood over here. There we go. Ready to throw into all of these wood burning everythings. Alright, we got a nice heater. Just throw that over here because it's a little unsightly. Okay, what else can I throw out here for you? You want to just watch the world burn? I can do that for you. Let's make them red. Okay, here we go. Whatever you want, that's what you get. I even have some neighbors over. And they can watch your whole house burn down too. Here we go. If you could actually just move, that would be great. Thank you. Okay. Uh, my gong's in the way. Ugh. How embarrassing. Um, I guess I'll move this closer to the house so when we run out, I need to bang the gong. Not to get it on. Literally just because the house is on fire. There we go. Uh, here. There? No. Here? Here? Just go somewhere. There. There we go. Okay, now we can watch the house burn down. We've got pizza to eat while we're waiting for it to super catch fire. And go to our portal to hell. <laughs> okay, so this was honestly one of the strangest builds I have ever done. But look, we have met all of his requirements. We have definitely put almost his entire order to some extent he's got to be happy i guess let's just let's check let's check to make sure he's happy i mean who wouldn't want a vacation here honestly just let me just step around this flaming leaf pile uh it's it's super ready you are all set you might want to put on your fire retardant clothing before you go inside I'm so glad you're uh, you're excited. I uh, be careful when you're walking around in your sport sandals. Oh well, yeah, I was at it for a whole 29 minutes, so you're welcome. Great. Now we get to have a nice little film where he goes and frolics. Oh, uh, I. You know what? I wish I had been inside when I'd done this. This is going to be really anticlimactic because. What's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? Oh, he's going to co oh, he's going to the stove. Great, he's super happy. Fantastic. Wait till you see inside. <laughs>
<laughs> oh great, he's super happy. You know what? I might as well snap some photos from my portfolio because this was just some of my best work. No, it wasn't. <laughs> uh, oh, did you just call me kiddo? That's gross. Uh, okay. Alright, so Lottie's gonna give me some money. Yeah, more fake money. At least I can use it back at the other island now. Yay, capitalism. Okay, so thank you very much for joining me. Uh, this is definitely how I've been spending the better part of, uh, of the last month because it's winter and I've been hibernating and dreaming of vacationing anywhere but here. <laughs> um... So yes, you will probably see a bit more content like this. I have been recording some of my longer builds and I intend to kind of speed it up. But that requires editing and I have just not been in the mood to edit, but it will come. It will come. So thank you very much for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful night and until next time, bye bye